We are making cocktail meatballs perfect for your next get together and so easy and everyone will love them. Hi guys, I'm Laura Batal and it is Christmas season. It is festive holiday season, I should say. And I wanted to make this recipe for you. I wanted to share it with you last year because I made them for my friends and family and they were such a hit. Um, and I just, never got around to it the season flew by but here we are a year later and they are still so sensational you will love them um it's a very i don't know if it's like an american thing so don't expect italian style meatballs but do expect some sticky slightly spicy delicious meatballs that you are going to just go nuts over um but they're delicious and i serve them in a bread bowl i'll show you i'm gonna take a large bowl and to it i'm going to add some ground beef i like a nice lean ground beef not too, too lean, but I also don't like it to be um, too, too fatty. Then I'm gonna take some Ritz crackers. I have been loving using Ritz crackers in a non-Italian meatball, only because it offers a little bit of butteriness and a little bit of slight sweetness, and they just work really, really well. And I've been also adding them to my meatloaf, my you know American-style meatloaf for years now, which just reminds me, we really need to do an updated meatloaf recipe because it's just so sensational and then to this i'm going to add one egg crack it separate because you just never know these are from fresh egg so my favorite garlic and herb seasoning i just like to do about a tablespoon or so i'll link this down below it is so worth every single penny it just is the most delicious and it's not really salty which i love and then i'm going to add a few dashes of worcestershire worcestershire and then I'm going to do a little bit of salt and pepper. A little pepper. And then I'm gonna add some garlic. I'm gonna go ahead, get a couple cloves and grab my microplane. I'm actually just gonna do one clove because it's the size of two cloves with my microplane. Let me go, let me go track it down. Crisis subverted. We found our microplane and that is the biggest clove of garlic. So that's going to impart lots a flavor. I don't want the big chunkies. And then I'm gonna add oh, this bowl. It's gotta be like 20 pounds, but I love it, so it's fine. We're going to finally chop up some parsley. You can make these, and I did this version when we did our recent uh, Tasty Thursday. Instead of doing the meatballs, you can do like mini little hot dogs instead. Um, I think they're called like party wieners or something like that. Cocktail wieners. Um, but the meatballs, I'm just gonna, not gonna lie to you. They are so delicious. They are so worth making um, for this. And like this with a nice drink and some party, like Chex Mix or something. Like that's a great card night. That's a great game night. And for me, if you know me, you know that I, through the entire season, right after Thanksgiving to New Year's, I will celebrate every day. I will eat off of my Christmas plates every day. Anytime people come over, it will be fantastic and special and festive because I want to just soak it all up. That's just how I'm built, I can't help it. Okay, now you're gonna just mix it. Mix it with your hand. This is not very difficult, real easy. And then this is the great thing. Say you're having a big Christmas party or any kind of holiday party around this time of year, right? And you don't want to be making meatballs last minute because, well, it's just not that fun to make meatballs last minute. You can make these ahead of time, pop them into the freezer, like form them, pop them into the freezer. Then when you need them, just thaw them out. You can do one of two things. You can cook them like I'm doing them today, which is just simmering them in a Dutch oven with the sauce, or you can pre-cook the meatballs by popping them into an oven like 400 for like 15 minutes. And then you just put them in a crock pot. You know, it's real easy. Make them kind of small. I'm making a little bit bigger because, well, you know, patience is just not my virtue. That's a little bit too big because these are supposed to be for cocktails. Um, anyway, and then just put them in the crock pot once they're seared in the oven with all the sauces and then just put them on warm or on low for a few hours and then stick them on warm while the party is happening and they are fantastic. All right, add your meatballs to a Dutch oven. And like I said, if you wanted to put these in your, in your 
crock pot, just sear them in the oven. I would just put them in a 400 degree oven, like 425 maybe, for just like 10, 15 minutes so that they were seared. And then you can transfer them to a crock pot. I never like adding meat to my crock pot without searing it first because it just doesn't have the same amount of flavor. You're not creating beautiful flavor. So anyway, worth doing. I'm just gonna sear these until they've got some color on them. I'll transfer them to this bowl. I'm gonna do it in batches. I had to bring my bigger crock pot, uh, my bigger Dutch oven, because I figured I was just gonna aggravate myself with a tiny one. Um, while those are searing, let's mix the ingredients for the sauce, okay? We've got barbecue sauce, your kind of barbecue sauce, whatever you like, whatever floats your boat, whatever you f tickles your fancy, okay? Homemade or store ball, totally up to you. You'll need some of that. Then I'm gonna add, this is some sweet chili sauce. I'm gonna finish this entire container, this entire jar, I should say. I actually need some water, so I'm gonna pour it in here and get every last bit of this flavor. Beautiful. Pour that in there. A couple dashes of Worcestershire, Worcestershire, like so, and then a little bit of grape jelly. And I know what you're thinking, have I lost my mind? I don't make the rules, okay? Um, but it does add like a really lovely stickiness to these, which I think is the entire sole reason why this is added um, in the be to begin with. And it, I think it makes a difference and it's definitely worth adding. And then for a little heat, I'm gonna take a jalapeno and I think adding some heat to all of that sweetness, in my opinion, is key. And I leave the seeds right in because I like living on the edge. And believe it or not, as these cook, the flavor of the jalapeno really infuses and they are as sensational as you can imagine. Okay, I'm just gonna keep turning these around and then I'll do my other batch, then I'll get them out. Meatballs are seared. Add your sauce, it'll thin out, don't worry. It will thin out as soon as it starts cooking. If I can get my, I almost call this a food processor. What is happening? What is happening? Try not to disturb the meatball so you don't break them. But I'm just gonna put the lid on and let this just gently simmer about 30 minutes. The meatballs will be tender, they will be delicious. They will be flavorful. Everything will be divine. Um, and then I'll show you what they look like. Lid on. Cutting a round buell. I'm sure you'll do a much better job than I did. And you kind of want to hollow it out as much as you can, but you want to leave a nice thick border. Otherwise, things could get messy. But I love serving it in this if I'm not doing it in a crock pot. And then the bread gets sort of like all soaked with delicious barbecue juices. And then at the end, you tear into it and it is just next level, my friend. Okay. And picture presentation, because I do do quite a bit to ensure great presentation. My meatballs look great. The longer they simmer, the tender, the more tender they will be. I let them go for about an hour. Uh, but like I said, if you're putting these on like low in the crock pot, they'll just get more and more delicious as the time goes on. And then I like to just serve them with some like cocktail little skewers and they're just fantastic. You have more sauce, which it's nice if you're doing it in a crock pot simply because that way they won't dry out, you know? But, mm. This, you're gonna use for other things, don't you worry. So hot, I already had two. I would lie to you, but we're friends like that. Mmm, mmm, they're tender. They're sweet. So up hot, mmm. They are sensational. Go to Laura in the Kitchen on Cup for the ring recipe. Hope you enjoy spending time with me. Oh, I know what I want to do. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.